So here we are, the historical commission, the meeting is called to order. Um, Alan has sent out minutes uh, sometime in the last few weeks and several people made some suggested amendments. Uh, would anyone like to move acceptance? So I move the minutes. Second. It's second, okay. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Great. Thank you, Alan. Thank you very much. Um, I think the first thing on the agenda is the cent, which I haven't had time to bring up, is the center school. Is that accurate? Does yep. anyone have? Okay, super. Um, so uh, some of you probably know this, but the select board at its meeting last week decided to defer their decision about um, the two proposals that have been received for uh, purchase of the center school and um, wait for further elaboration of a, um, a counter offer, counter proposal really being made by a subset of the visioning committee of five years ago now, um, four years ago. And that group has been given till next Tuesday to come up with a fleshed out plan with income and expenses and sort of a business plan, I think is the way uh, one select board member phrased it. Um, I have a I have a proposal for us, but does anybody have anything more? To, does anybody want to talk about that or have anything more to say about that? It doesn't um, surprise uh, me, but yeah. I would I would like uh, to have us, the historical commission, um, write to the select board simply to say that we hope that if they determine that the town will retain ownership of the building, that they will hold the town to the same standards of historic preservation that we had anticipated imposing on an on an outside owner. And I'm imagining a note about that law. Right. <laughs> Done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fine. That's, that sounds about right. Okay, Susan, are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I'm I'm frantically typing. Right, you're doing notes. She's she's choosing a font. She's, she's, she's fighting with a new Microsoft default font, yeah. <laughs> <No. laughs> which is- She's doing something scripty. You know, appealing, but doesn't match anything else. Okay, um, I will uh, draft something and just send it out just because I'd like, you know, in case they've done something that doesn't make any sense, but I've, obviously the point would be to get that to them well before their meeting next Tuesday. Um, what is the second thing on our agenda? I really apologize. Membership, I think. Aha. Um, so Alan, um, thank you for not turning on your heels and walking off the commission immediately. <laughs> no, I, I'm actually serious. Thank you. <laughs> I, I think there's still a few things I promised to do that I haven't yet done. I, I'm on a, I'm on a board the... outside Waitley that has had several people in a row sort of resign by email, <laughs> which is quite disconcerting, you know, and uh, for different reasons. Um, it sounds like I didn't find someone possible. Is that, are there others? Well, Judy, you had suggested um, it's Rich, right? Kropieski. Yeah. I asked him many years ago to join the Historical Commission. Um, and I can, it was, I remember exactly where it was. It was, it was probably 2019. It was at that, this is gonna sound very self-centered, that annual town meeting that we had in town hall when I was arguing with Paul and Taya about the money for, for the town safe restoration and Rich was sitting behind me. I didn't know him. I don't know him well at the time now, but I didn't know him then. And he was um, very supportive, you know, in the way one can be <laughs> in a neighborly way. Um, so I agree that he is interested in historic preservation. Um, I also reached out to some 
folks in West Waitley, not both folks who are on too many town committees already, but to ask if they had ideas of people in West Waitley who might care about historic preservation. Um, and the two names that were suggested were um, uh, Bob O'Bear and, do I mean Bob? Bill. Bill. Bill, right, I don't mean Bob, I mean Bill, Bill O'Bear and Nancy Tulanian. And I think I have also asked Nancy at one point, uh, not that that means, but but I, I do think we should not end up with, I mean, for the four of us, save Alan, live, you know, on North Street and Chestnut Plain all in a row. And I think we should be, have some level of geographic diversity on the committee. Well, it was not intentional. You, you need, you need. Candidates. No, it just, it just happened. Yes, it just happened. I mean, Darcy was living in East Waitley, but you replaced Darcy, right, Allison? I Isn't believe that, so. Yeah, yeah. That was your scheme before I came on board. Right, right, right. The name that had crossed my mind, I haven't spoken to her or anything. I wanted to talk to you all. Um, was Betty Orlowski. She, I believe she's involved with the Historical Society demonstrating an interest in the history. And I'm on the personnel committee with her and mm -hmm. she seems to be very you know, civic minded. And she's, she East, she's East Waitley. Is she Fred's wife? No. No. Okay. She is Fred's, she, or as she would say, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. There are no visuals with the recording. She is Fred's cousin. Her Fred's <laughs> first cousin. Um, Betty is very responsible. I don't know if she, I, and I agree that she cares about the town's history. I don't know, and I'm being literal, I don't know if she cares about historic <laughs> preservation. Yeah, which, I which is which is our core responsibility. I. But she's a, I mean, she is a responsible volunteer, and she shows up. You know, right, exactly. Does, exactly. Does does the work. So if we wanted somebody from East Waitley, that's who came to mind. Yeah. Okay. So what do we do about? It? Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm wishing that we knew people who were younger than we, <laughs> you know, which would Bill, also be good. And Bill none of the names that have been am, suggested. So. For, for, what did you say? Bill is older than I am, I think. Bill, yeah. I, according to um, Google, Bill is 75. Yeah, older than me. Yeah, but yeah. Older. yeah. yeah. I, I have tried to even just to communicate with Bill a couple of times. I, he's a great guy. He's wonderful. Yeah, he does awesome. his work. Uh, I can't even get him to return an email. So uh. yeah, well, it's it's interesting. I had thought of him because a, a couple of years ago he was buying the full array of town histories from the historical society, and for some reason, he and Neil agreed he would meet over here. <laughs> and I'd never met him before, but he sort of poked his head around the kitchen and said do you mind, could I really see the inside of your house? And he really did care about, you know, is the mantelpiece original, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. And then um, I, I had asked Deborah Carney for advice and she had, she recommended him too. He sits on the Agricultural Commission, I think. Uh, yeah, you he did. He did, he's, he's resigned from that. Has he? I believe. The other person who comes to mind, if we're looking for somebody much younger, is or, Ashley. Or even a little younger. <laughs> no. is Ashley Hazlitt. Um, she was fantastic on getting things done for the 250th. She's got two young kids, possibly, you know, kindergarten and fourth grade or thereabouts, which to give a sense of her approximate age. Um, she lives down by Norse. She was the one you introduced me to her somehow, and she was one of our final outside readers for Hidden History. 
Right. Oh, and okay. she had, she had, I'm remembering kind of helpful comments. I, I mean, I've, you know, done is good. I don't remember the details. <laughs> It yeah, wasn't about the content. It was about the architecture of yeah. the, yeah. I mean, sorry, the, the digital architecture. <laughs> I mean, if, if we are interested in Betty and or Ashley, I can find out if they would be interested. Um, but I don't want to reach out to them unless we're interested. Um, this is all too public, but my experience with Betty is that she is very responsible, but likes, at least with regard to the historical society, she likes tasks that are accomplished during her scheduled time. I mean, she's not interested in homework, of, of which we seem to have a fair amount, <laughs> you know, but, but that's a matter of describing, you know, the work that has to be done. I, she's just fantastic with actual physical projects. You know, That's dealing we're with kind of saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never seen, I have no information at all of how she would be with papers, which is an awful lot of what we do. I, right. She could be fantastic. I just have no input. I know for the historical society, she, she stayed, I mean, she, you know, stays away from that kind of, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't want to be sent away to do much documentation or research, but I, right. Susan, I don't, I don't know what the personnel, I don't know how much work you all have to do outside attending the meetings. Yeah, there's a, there's you know, a fair amount of homework of reviewing documents and she seems to come to the meetings prepared. But not generating documents. No, no. These are reviewing documents provided by formerly Brian. So uh, having another person on the committee who was willing to go off and do research would be great, right? Yeah, given involving younger people in town committees is wonderful. Right. Right, and and if they're and, willing it, to do it, it's it, yeah. You know, if uh, well, I mean, I've been on twelve years, so I was fifty-eight. That's younger than we are. Susan's barely fifty-eight now. Uh, I, don't I don't know how old you are. I'm just I'm you, you, Let's go. <laughs> Allison, you were shaking your head. What were you shaking your head about? No, I just can't think of anybody. You know, I'm just. What about asking, um, I know Janelle doesn't live in, in Waitley and uh, and we certainly can't have two people from Quant on the committee. I mean, I think we can't, but would you, she grew up here. Would you be willing to ask her if she, do you think she she's knows? She's got a other, one-year-old and she's no, no, got- No, no, to ask her if she knows other people knows since people she grew up yeah. here. Sorry, sorry, that's where I was headed. I, I certainly could ask, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm mean, her, fa through, her I'm father. I'm just going through the lists and the streets in my mind and trying to think of who else to ask, but I, I'm not clicking on anybody. And, and I don't think it has to be somebody who comes in saying, "I know all the rules," you know, about historic preservation. But it has to be somebody who is interested in learning. <laughs> you know, I think I, I, I'm happy to have you talk to Ashley. She was a good volunteer. I know for you. Sure. And she might know somebody if she's not interested. Yeah, too. that that's that she might know somebody. Yeah. Uh, Amy, um, I'm thinking now of sources, not candidates. Amy Schrader did not grow up here, right? I just think she's I respect her opinion and I I think maybe her husband did. Or in Hat or in Hatfield, just over the world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Alan Sanderson has all those has kids who all live right, here. Right, right. I mean, I've been thinking of like Scott, Ryan, maybe great, but she's Liz is another North Street person. But 
you know, all her kids are here too. Um, and who, Megan who, did Murphy. You, who did you just say, Liz Scott? Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, that's an, this, anyway, the Scott family is all right here. Um, and Alan's daughter is next to Allison, so that's no good. Um, but, but they did grow up here and they know people. <clears throat> Why don't, okay, I'll ask Amy Schrader for referrals. Could, <sighs> um, could, Judy, do you want to inquire of the Scott clan? <laughs> Who might? Well, Jen is married to to Ascroski. Um And one of them is married to that nice snowmobile guy who we met. That's them. Sorry? Joe Skrosky. No, no, no it's, that's... It's, no. Uh, uh, it's, it's uh, Sarah, Sarah's husband. Begins with a B. Yeah, Bourdua. Paul Bourdua, B-O-R-D-U-A, runs the is the Waitley snowmobile guy. And he's so so he's right. is also on the snowmobile gang. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, really? Yeah, big time. He does all the trail maintenance over here. I see. I mean, you know, ideally somebody who lives with an older house and has a sense of what is involved would be useful. <laughs> Double indemnity. You, you know, all these filters just come down to very few possibilities, you know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm sort of thinking of a list of helpful criteria, but nobody's going to meet all of them. Right. Um, Ashley, Ashley took Ashley is not from here originally her husband is and um, they bought an old house and are very interested in and have been working on restoring it I think you should talk to her yeah, yeah I will yeah yeah I, I I mean I can't remember what I ended up doing with her about hidden history but she you know she answered the to 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 somebody's comment about someone else she was responsive i knew she was busy she had a job and little kids and she would say i can get to that thursday night and then she'd get back to me you know late thursday night <laughs> yeah so she's think, very responsive i'll reach out to her okay okay well let's so let's all keep thinking and get back to this next month then um I have a piece of other business, but do we want to talk about the Springfield Students Survey? Yeah. Sure. Uh, how should we go about this? Um, he, he actually said in his initial message that any, you know, we could have as many people respond as we wish. In other words, he doesn't want a, and a, he doesn't require an official Waitley response, but what what's your pleasure? I I have to admit, I only got to the second or third page of his doodle poll or whatever it is, whatever the pool, uh, Google, I guess. Looks like the Google's and on. there was a, one question where there were a lot of years and we would have been N.A. and that was not an <laughs> option. And I, I just stopped reading at that point. I guess that's when I sent him the question that I sent to him. Well, my guess is we're total outliers in his survey. Oh, totally. Well, like Gather heal. It will help reinforce his uh, a thesis anyway. Um, but I don't. Well, think he's also. The, I don't think any of the data we present is going to be remotely useful to him. I I feel like he's asking us to do quite a bit of the work on this project of his. Don't you? Uh, it, it, I, I think. I think. Um, it was a he, little off putting to me. It's like. Yes. <laughs> Well, you sort of wonder who who's advising this seventeen-year-old, right? About right. Well, he, you know, yeah. uh, maybe he thinks that this is data that's just somewhere in a computer, and you just push a button, and all these facts come up. But that's, and I don't know if you know that's how it works in the town he lives in, but it's not. Well, he how lives it, in he lives in Springfield. Well, so I, they I, have I, yeah, they have staff. <laughs> you know? Right, but there's staff. Well, right. I, I suggest we provide him with the information, Donna, that you found that we had pulled together a couple of years ago and you know, see if that will suffice. Yeah. It sounds like you mean you, you, you mean 
so the construction dates of the five oldest buildings in Watley in Waitley that are still standing did Judy did the I haven't had time to print out what you sent yeah I mean they're all that, there that yeah. address they are still standing well they're yeah, did we actually saying. did you actually have five by buildings? definition if they're the five oldest buildings in Waitley they must be still standing yeah right they're all right. they're all about 1750 to 1760 yeah Right. Right. Even when we take out the pound and the cemeteries. And what yeah, well, well, I, I mean, know. honestly, cemetery is... the other list didn't have North Street on it. But um, so if you add the North Street. Oh, I North see. Street, I see what you've done. Right, right, right. I see. Sorry. I, I was in motion when you uh, or nearly in motion. Um, well, the other thing we could do is send him a link to Allison to your page in Hidden History, which shows all the buildings. You can send him a link to the crafts history too, you know, and he can read it himself. And yeah. you, know, think, you think what? You know, well, if we send him the oldest buildings and we send him the list of things that were quote demolished as a as opposed to fell down or burned down. You mean our letter? The letter that we sent, essentially. Mm -hmm. The things that are gone are are there any? Well, Real demolition projects that happened. I, I'm trying to think of where that might have been. Well, they were um, the great. They're gone because of some fire or weather event. Uh, I didn't bring well, that. I printed out, but the the I guess there's that barn, were, Donna. The Peter, the house where Peter Laird lives now was was taken down and the part saved. The, the Graves house where Mark Boussier is was taken down. Right. Our oh. part. Well, we I mean when we wrote to Peter Stott, we identified four houses that were demolished. Okay. Yeah. Two on Chestnut Plain Road, the one that is now um well, it's interesting. I think I, you know, I'm realizing I think I sent a, a follow-up letter because we said that the Graves house was demolished, but then discovered that it is in pieces in a basement in historic Deerfield. Remember, I think I sent a follow up letter about that or an email. Does and he then, specifically ask about houses, Donna, or just no? Buildings? Yes, about buildings. Just think of all the mill buildings that you were once there that are all now gone. He's talking. Doesn't he say after 1900 somewhere? I'm looking, I'm looking. There's better information in his email than in um yeah because uh, i think all, all everything we sent peter stott was fairly recent or you know 20th century yeah he went yes they this the things we sent to peter stott were demolished between 1980s and um 2013 and that was the house that was destroyed by fire was the Galanka house, right? Yeah. The Erastus Graves house. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, there were many others earlier in the century. Oh, yeah. Most of River Road. <laughs> but Well, think of the barns that exploded in the stills in the 30s. Yeah, yeah I don't think, we, I mean, I'm not, I, I am not willing to try to answer the barn question myself I don't think, yeah, <laughs> it's I don't just think too it much help. no it wouldn't help if we did I, I mean I think you know he's writing from an urban setting I don't think he's asking about barns yeah um and you know so we have these houses that were demolished we have no institutional structures that were demolished right the well, North houses. Street School actually the North School? Street School you might and that one, that mysterious one that was destroyed in a storm out in, towards West Waitley, remember that one? Right. Um, the, the the North Street School was 20th century. I think it was like 1905 or 10. Or right, that's right. And, that's right. Yes, it was the question that wanted to know where he asked, um, not just <laughs> with the decades, and he wanted to know which in which decade had most of our demolished buildings been demolished. And I thought, no, this is not a question for us. We can't deal with this. I think he's this trying to make a bar graph. I can see him trying to 
graph this out by decade. I, yeah, yeah. I think we're making it too hard. Send him, send him the letter to Peter Stott. Send him the five oldest. And I can send him. He wants to know about success stories. I recently, for another reason, pulled out the PowerPoint that I used about our town hall project. Remember when I went and talked at the State Preservation Commission? I could oh, just yeah. send him the PowerPoint and say, well, you, we could, you know, this, we can't really answer your survey. We don't have the numbers that you're looking for. You can throw in the East School. The what? East School. You mean the one that has been sold several? Is that the one that was the bookstore and was the Fred Adams? The Bob, the Bob O'Bears. Oh, oh, the East School. Sorry, I'm having a kind of mental breakdown. You're talking about the South School. <laughs> yes, I'm. I think it might be the Southeast School. Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, well, that hasn't been saved yet, right? I mean, it's, it's, well, so, yeah. And I don't know that it was ever Hard to saved. say. I mean, technically, it, whether nobody it was, ever, ever whether, really threatened demolition. I don't think so. Okay, uh, you are volunteering me, you all, to just send him an email and send him some helpful stuff and see what he, let him do with it, what he wants. Yes. Okay. I can do that. <laughs> no. I, I mean, <laughs> I was so thrilled that any high school student is interested in historic preservation that I would like to be as helpful as we can be. Um, I will do that. I will not ask you all to look at it. I will just fumble through it. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, does anybody else have any other business before I... Uh, okay, I wanted to um, talk about the town hall painting um because i for some reason remembered the other day that painting the town hall has been on the list of projects that the capital planning committee has looked at for several years but i don't know if you know this but there's a a small committee it's not an ad hoc committee but it seems to be less incorporated than some others that looks at requests for money for capital projects and doesn't worry about where the money is going to come from. They rank them A, B, or C in terms of priority, in their opinion, from the town's point of view. Um, and I knew that uh, Keith Bardwell and Neil Abram had, in 2021, gotten the town hall repainting on that list because they know, you know it takes a while for projects to come to the top of the list. So I wrote to um, our, town, our interim town administrators this weekend and said, I'm sorry, there's nothing posted about this committee. Could you just tell me what, this was just yesterday, what happened? Where is the town hall? Repainting and Trish, who seems very nice, I've now met, um, wrote back and said, it's not on the list at all. I replied, well, that's curious because it was on the list in 21 and 22 at 80,000 placeholder figure. Um, could you ask Keith Bardwell? He was the one who put it on. Well, Keith wandered through later today and said, he doesn't know why it was taken off the list. But anyway, it's apparently now pushed to fiscal 2026. I don't think this is a crisis, but parts of the building do need to be repainted. And what is getting repainted now is what Neil can reach you know, even being on a ladder, which is not the best plan in the world. Um, so I just wanted to put a placeholder in everyone's mind that it seems to me that when the call goes out for capital projects, which will come to the chair of the historical commission when it goes to everyone else next fall, I think this, we ought to write a letter um, supporting the repainting of the town hall as a priority and reminding the town that when they signed the permanent preservation restriction, the first clause in that is doing proper maintenance of the building. Yeah. Um, it's mostly the north side that's bad, but most of the building has not been painted since 2013. So that's, you know, that's a while. Some of it was supposed to be painted as part of that restoration project, wasn't it? 
Well, most Is of it was painted in 2013. The only parts that were painted in 2017, 2018, I guess, were the addition and some of the some parts of the north wall, north facade. But um, I'm sorry to be quoting Neil, but I haven't done this myself since he's been the one who's been scraping and repainting the most damaged parts. He is convinced that either no primer was used when it was painted in 2013, or it certainly wasn't the wonderful oh, mad, mad yeah. dog primer. And, and it's been, you know, it's been 11 years with a lot of storms. Um, so that's, I mean, we can discuss it. I'm really just saying it so that I don't forget and other people don't forget that we haven't yet weighed in on this. And I'm I'm worried about that it just got taken off the list without Keith being informed because that doesn't seem really right to me. Probably because it wasn't quite obvious. I don't I don't know how they're tagged, but it doesn't have an obvious committee. I don't think they think of the historical commission as a well, we were at, I mean, we are asked every year, do we have any, you know, are there any capital projects? I just, uh, if I would, if, if I would have thought, oh, this is ours, and we were the ones who submitted the CPA requests for the paint, especially the yeah. emergency painting in 2013, I knew that Keith and Neil had made a case for it. So I didn't think we needed to do that too. <laughs> okay. no. Yeah. Um, You're saying they got an estimate or, uh, last time they painted it. It was eighty thousand dollars worth of painting. It wasn't eighty in twenty thirteen. Okay. I mean, we could look it up, but I, I don't. I, I honestly don't remember where they came up with eighty. But they didn't invent it, you know. And maybe it's too high, but it, you know, let us hope, right? Yeah. Is it politically in incorrect to use the? the um inmates from the prison because that i don't know of... yeah i don't know no i don't know they but do but that. it wasn't it wasn't done the way a good no they job. couldn't do that because because of the lead mitigation that was it was a cpa project right 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 and they weren't authorized to to do the lead mitigation Right. Coming back very dimly. Yeah. I don't think we need, I just, I just want to make sure it doesn't continue to fall off the list because we spent a lot of money to fix the building. <laughs> we don't want it to rot from the outside. And it's um, well loved and well used. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Over 300, over 300 scheduled activities last year. Wow. Yeah. If you build it, they will come. You didn't believe me. I know, I know. Well, Susan did her surveys. <laughs> I just reinforce the floor so things don't fall off the ceiling. Oh, Alan, Alan, <laughs> Alan, Alan. <laughs> was, I know, that was, was a bad moment. Oh, a bad moment. moment. But it was the best place we found for practice. Oh, I think reinforcing the floor now would be, you'd have to take the building apart. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know. I know how hard it would be, but it's so much better than bangs. I'm so. <laughs> Um, any other business? Okay, let's see when we're meeting again. April something. It must be April 15th. <laughs> Is that okay with you folks? Yep. I think so. Okay. 36 minutes. Yep. <laughs> no. Pretty good. Yeah. You okay, Judy? Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Good. Bye. Great. Thank then. you. Bye. Yes. Thanks, everybody. Bye.